All right. I've done this a million times. I it's unlocked. Can't seem to do it properly. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Yep, we get it. I think the problem is I can't see. Nothing of interest. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. see that before. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it wasn't my Looks fault. like the door was forced open. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. There should be a clue in here somewhere too. But I didn't cheat. It looks like I need some sort of lifting oh. handle to get it open. That over there. I clicked that too and it didn't work. Oh no. The store may be low on stock. But it's immaculate. The store may be low on stock, but it it's immaculately kept. Really? I handle these. <laughs> Hopefully, it lets me go through here like instantly. He's already busted in. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. He was just about to catch me. <laughs> I was like, peace out, and I fell. Whoever's down there, you can rock! Alrighty then. Finally made it past this part. It looks like a diary. It's got to have some clues. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. Oh, um, so where we came from. Alright. Let's see, can we move this? We should move it. I don't know, I don't see anything. Nope, nothing of interest. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. Oh. I can honestly say I didn't expect that to happen. <sighs> Alright. Bunch of skeletons, that's weird. Oh, this is that, uh, the dark room I saw when I was up there. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. I wonder where we are. Uh oh. I'm not controlling the camera. Watch out for ammo pickups. Ammo will always carry across to the next chapter, but the quantity you can carry for each weapon is capped. Interface shows the rounds. I can't move. Stuck on that door. Yeah, I got ammo for the gun I don't have. I don't think I have a gun anyway. Nothing of interest here. What about this? No, let's bring blank piece of paper. We got three doors to go to. This one. Holy shit! That's what... That's exactly what I was thinking. Nothing of interest here. I'm sure, that looks interesting. Can't see anything of use. Oh my god. That kind of scared me. 
The flooring is badly damaged. Must have been caused by the fire. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. The poor woman must have taken her own life. I wonder what could have driven her to such a desperate act. I don't know, but I don't trust her. God. Keep that one locked for now. <laughs> it won't budge. No. Well, in that case. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Now I'm starting to get scared of this game. Just waiting for something to jump Nope. Out. Nothing important here. Nope. Nothing of interest. Uh oh, I think we're busted. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. Yeah, let's not tell him about the dead That's body. the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Yes, yes he is. Ah, there it is. I wonder if that cop's still out there. It won't open. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I can't be seen talking to you. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, stranger. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. I can't be seen talking to you. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Stop pestering me, stranger. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. Just leave me be, stranger. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Stop pestering me, stranger. I thought maybe we could bug it out a little. But apparently not. Maybe we have to talk to this guy. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't help you. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late, outsider. Folks just know what's good for them are safely both in their homes by now. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I reckon you might have scared them off with that ugly face of yours. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're doing the low blow jokes. Piping with a good wind piping early in the Sowlands Gallons Miles. 
<laughs> my boys, these are the joys of the noble and the brave, who love a life in the tempest strife, in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane is the light of the lighthouse out, and the growling thunder sounds his gong, and the whirlwinds... Hmm? Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok! That be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. Gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They would not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Sounds fair. Luckily, I've already found something. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Sounded like a key. <sighs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumor in an anchorum in Lipswitch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> old Cat Movid where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that to answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were knowing what was good to us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Sweet. Lucky us. Yes.